make that shit an issue He straight from the mine, from the grease, from the crystal Yeah, look, come and get your issue When niggas run your wireless, patch your pockets, take your pistol Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Grown Folk Business Bring you open, honest, raw conversation Keep it real, keep it the fuck quiet Quiet It's your boy Shreds Keep that quiet Keep your phone quiet Oh shit, my bad <laughs> I know you're getting business, though. I got, we know. We're going to get to her business. We, go ahead. You go, if you got business to handle, go check ahead. it out. Check it out. Yeah, check right. it out. It's okay. If, if it's business, it's business. I can take care of it later. You sure? We don't want to be... 24 hours, you know? Oh, shit. Damn, yeah. motherfucker. Anyway, I'm Snub. <laughs> uh, it's my birthday tomorrow, so... Happy birthday, Snub. Yeah. Yeah. He he had the request, but he's not going to tell you to the end, so... Oh, oh yeah. What's <laughs> <Shit. laughs> And this is, <laughs> Let's go and this right is the Ooh, this lovely, is. the lovely Miss Jenny. Oh my, uh, spicy Jenny for Jenny. We calling this show today. No, we're not. <laughs> no, 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 oh my god, no. no. What the fuck? Yo, I'm sorry. Um, I, <sighs> I had to keep it real one this time. Nigga. Um, but this is the lovely Miss Jenny Cyrene. Cyrene eighty five. You know, how yeah. at your girl. Red lights. Get book for the fire. Look. Get book for the look. Hot. <laughs> Make it hot to. Yo. Oh. So what's 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 going on? You kind of popping right now, right? Little little bit, right? Is you? I don't want to. You know, I don't want to <laughs> blow my. Do you? Mm-hmm. I'll do it I for you. My own. Okay, you could too too. Um. Talk about it. Yes, I hope I'm popping. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, um, I put a lot of work in, and um, I'm true to my craft. So, for all those people that say I'm popping, thank you, because that is my motherfucking word. Popping. This <laughs> is you know you popping. So, you can go ahead and say, yeah, I'm popping. Yeah. Okay, I'm popping, I guess. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's cool. Business is popping? How's business? Um, business is always good. Um, I'm, I'm truly blessed. Let's yeah. say that. Yeah, I'm blessed. Always good, 24-7, around the clock. You know, nobody really knows how it is to sit behind a business, well, what are you going to call it? A business person and all the work that entails to um, kind of run a business. So, it's harder, easier said than done. Let's right. just put it like that. Straight up. That's real. Anything up and coming? I do have an event coming May 26th. I am sponsoring a fashion show for... Um, women's encouragement. Um, basically, anybody that sells stuff, you got hair, makeup, candles, um, a fashion line coming out. We are bringing this fashion fashion show together. Me and Desiree, Unforgettable Self. We're bringing this fashion show together, kind of just to embrace women and, and to, to you know to support one another, especially as being business women. Um, men are they can come out too. You know, come catch the show. Yeah. <laughs> May 26, 5 o'clock um, at the Crown Plaza. See some baddies. That was dope. Yeah, nice Ooh. little plug right there. Right, word. <laughs> nice. I, heard, I saw you do some uh, something at Sneaker Villa, too. What was that? Um, Just speaking to the youth. Just helping the kids yeah, out? Yeah, just speaking to the youth and um, giving them some of my background. And it was crazy because, like, I worked there my whole high school years. Word, so word. That shit was, like, real, right. real. That was real, real, like... Yeah, you got... You came from there to be speaking right, there, you know what right. I mean? Right, so it it was definitely, like, kind of just, like, meant to be or something. Yeah. I don't know. I just took it as a blessing. Like, you know, if I can give and I can do it at that time, I'm coming. That's true, I'm man. coming. How, yeah. How always, can you not love that, bro? Coming. Always good to give information to the kids. Always. always. The kids around here, yeah. need to hear it. You know what I'm saying? You need to also put them in something... Uh, some structure, like when we talk about sports. You like sports? No. No. Don't no women. I did here play like ba- I did, No, I did play basketball though in middle school and elementary school. But I just you was probably the littlest motherfucker I was ever t- to play Could you basketball. imagine? Because I stopped growing in fifth grade. Nigga. So I was like, <laughs> Yeah, I mean the tiniest person only. I was going under motherfuckers. Fuck uh, yeah. Hype and shit, bro. He's just <laughs> and I probably so, got in fights after every game all nigga. the time. So Damn. yeah, yeah I, was, I was always into a fight. Like, yeah, y'all crazy. feisty and shit. Were you playing basketball and speaking in Spanish while playing? No, nah, I was just playing basketball. I couldn't um. speak Spanish, but I can understand when the motherfucker coming at me. Oh, uh, you knew what the <laughs> trigger words was. Right, right. <laughs> Go ahead, come at uh. me, cause I'm coming for you in English. <laughs> 
Yo. We got to also <laughs> talk about this NFL free agency. Always. Because this is when the niggas is free and they out to these owners and they free cattle out here. And I want to bring you into this, Jenny. Is this the time of the year when the women start wanting to get real done up and like income tax season and all that is NFL free agency agency period? It's like from it's like from uh, March to about um, what May. What do you call it? March Madness. You know what I mean, mean, all of that. Basically, it's a like, lot going on. Um, <laughs> like my birthday. Go ahead. Um, a lot of people during income tax do come out and they feel like you know they do have they they deserve that they deserve they treat themselves. This Ooh. is my sport. You know what I'm saying? This is my sport. Oh, this is my craft. This is my sport. I'm I'm researching, but um. It's never ending. So it doesn't matter if income tax, it doesn't matter if um, we have a recession. People are always going to want their hair, their makeup. People are always going to want to feel good about themselves. So that, and it doesn't change the person, but it does help with confidence. True. So it is my sport to uh, kind of, you know, make that person feel as beautiful as possible. I mean, hey. I am a free agent as well, you know. Oh, so shit. you can book any time. Not that type. Not that type. Of oh, but <laughs> yeah, okay. I am my own boss, so I I'm not in touch with nobody. So you know, you want to get booked for the look? Come, you know what I mean? Yeah. Come get that look, she's honey. Always promoting, but she's not a free agent. Free agent. <laughs> she just wanted to make y'all make sure y'all know that. She's not a free agent. Free agent. <laughs> yeah, definitely talking that shit. Um, so it looks like we got something new in the bird. Um. A new development, at least that is. Yeah. There's a club that fits 1,200 people. Did you see that? That um, it's like a post. It's been a post out there about What's this new club. XL. At club XL, club I think XL. they trying to make it. Bitch, where? It's that like out. Um, I wish I would have. It ain't downtown. No, hell no, no okay, hell no, no. Okay. That's out the way. I don't even know if it's our kind of club like, anyway. Yeah. For, oh, that's for what us. But it's a club. Not urban. Yeah, they talking about country music yeah, and shit. Yeah, so it's yeah, you. By Savannah, Savannah. Yeah. What are you talking about Savannah's is in, on cameras. Too. Right. Yeah. It's, uh, that's what I'm saying. It's not downtown. It's no, it ain't far. Are they talking about the place across the street from me? I don't know. It might be like Would you said, like, having, like Ninth the Street or something. And stuff like that. No, I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that John. But no, nah, it's it's. I guess it's the new development though. That they're they got. building it. I guess he's right now. The build the building's there, and he yeah. do. I'm talking about running out. Well, I would be hyped. You know, hopefully. But it's on camera. We need a club. We need a club. We That's, need a club. That many people. Chemistry. Like so, basically, it's like if we got a big artist, a big entertainer here. That's that club will fit them. Bring them there. Yeah, yeah. Bring, yeah. Them, bring them there. Bring them out. Bring them out. Oh shit! All that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so somebody that brought him out on um, the movie Black Panther uh, sales reached the Billy of Billy. Damn, boy. No, I didn't. Um, unfortunately, I don't get to go out often because I work uh, early mornings to late, late, late night. Um, but I'm going to change that, though. We're going to change that so I can get a little bit of living going in. But I did get it on black market. But I no, you not. Wait, wait, wait. No, the fuck you ain't. Wait, let me finish. <laughs> What's up, Puerto Rican well, ass? Is not about to get. I didn't watch it because it was not clear, and I can't watch something unless I'm going to watch it because you right. I like to watch and really observe anything that I watch. You damn right. So, but you but I'm not. Just saying, you I didn't buy it physically. You know that. my people. Because technically, y'all, you know, we, we all and I, technically and we I all support, black you know, people. You know, five CDs for five dollars. You know what I mean? You know, you want to try to do something? You got to go see this joint. Go see this oh, my joke. daughter went and seen it. Everybody in the house went to go see it, but I don't get to do nothing. And that's okay. I'm blessed, but you blessed. I am going to start making some time for me. Book for the look. True. Yeah, I'm going to start making some time for me. You True. have to just promote True. that every time you say something. Please <laughs> do. Except this one. Because <laughs> this is about the whole school shooting out in Parkland, Florida. And um, the kids, the high school kids doing a walkout. And they starting to incorporate other schools across the... Um, Across the nation and like uh, uh, being in school walkouts and everything. So, uh, um, what y'all think about that, man? Like, uh, I mean, you know, first of all, it's gonna be violence wherever you go. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? But for it to be in a safe, supposed to be a safe place, yeah. um, I just believe, you know, it, you know, whatever they gotta do to make sure that the kids are safe, then go ahead and do that. Yeah. But don't just make it in the hood because this shit don't happen. In the hood with the school. Nigga. You know what I'm <laughs> Nigga. It's not happening in the hood. Um, put the security and all that 
everywhere. Everywhere. Make do sure the you same shit. Every, yeah, just do it on know, our schools. Make sure you treat every school the same mm-hmm. because really, it's violence everywhere. But can you say that though when you just had, uh, uh, I think it was, damn, I got to find it real quick. But yo, there was just a, a security guard who just shot a student. You know what I mean? So he shot in the air. Uh, I heard about that. Yeah, the some where was this at? Hits. His were they fighting or something? No, nobody was fighting. I think he was showing them a demonstration. What the fuck is that? that? That's what? not something that happens at our shit though. <laughs> we had just had security guards that was niggas, and it, if I gotta beat you up, young boy, I'm gonna beat you the fuck up. <laughs> well, if you take me do. there, or I'm gonna beat your ass. Oh, like and stuff. They take you, I'm choke you up, yank you yeah, up, they, nigga. They put you in your place. You know, they don't. I, do I don't that believe with them in kids. that though. It happened in California. I don't believe in that. It and, ain't no and, school and restraints. Sh- it ain't no school shootings and no Right, but school. I don't believe in rest- you know, physical restraint. And look. I man. don't believe in that. So what are you teaching these kids? Then? Them niggas is tripping. If you nigga, if you're posing more violence on the violence, you nigga. are. But some you gotta get put in your place. It's a yeah. fucking, it's the, it's the jungle for real. Somebody gotta be the alpha, and you gotta have a fucking beta at some point. And I gotta make you the fucking beta. <laughs> real shit though. Yeah, no, I mean, cause a young boy gonna try you. So right. it's like, nigga, I'm a grown ass man. Stop acting like that. Or you know, if he like, wasn't raised right, down. like sit, sit the, the fuck, fuck down, down nigga. Sit down and no, I agree with Cause you. your mom no. ain't raised you right, or your pop. You yeah. know, where was your dad at? That you Somebody can't act like that. No, Somebody you can't put that on that head. either because your mom could be the best and your father Not your be the mom. Best, your, your dad can't be the best if your kid out here, if a young boy out here. Sometimes people just have mental illness. Let's put it like that. <laughs> That's <laughs> different now. Fucked. You got to ah. treat them You gotta treat them differently. Fucked. Ah, yeah. You know? You definitely got to treat or them differently. Or maybe they too, you know, babied. You know? So this That's, That's the parents' fault then. Yeah, yeah, then that, that would be the parents' fault. And just to get this cleared up real quick. That shooting that happened with the teacher, it was... um. California, happening in California. Everything's happening. Oh, yeah. that's Cali. But Florida's getting everything. California man. teaching conducting a public safety awareness lesson. Accidentally, accidentally shoots a, a student. They can't. What? <laughs> this is why I they want to give teachers about... guns. They want to give teachers guns, and this kind of shit is happening. <laughs> uh, he was conducting. A professional at that. He was no, he's a professional. security guard. No, he's, the judge is a security guard. I mean, a security guard with a gun, you have to have a gun license. Just yeah, to I can do professional. They hire security guards for 1059 on fucking um, <laughs> on <laughs> indeed.com. You're not, they're not professionals with fucking yeah, guns. I'm going to hire somebody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're you're gun. Gun. Indeed.com, here I come. Oh, that's Boy, crazy. <laughs> giving niggas guns. What the fuck? Uh, 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 so let's get out of here with the last part of the group. Yeah. Um, Light skin shit. DJ Envy walking out on that interview. Did you see that, Jenny? No, I didn't. You don't see because you're so no, busy. No, yeah. no, no, no. I didn't. Was it recent? I'm sorry. Yeah. It just I happened. I do follow. Like, so, it's the Breakfast, breakfast Club. Club. Oh. Did you? So, did you? It was... um. The well, dude, that's why I ain't the first walk out that they had. So. Envy? No, nobody. The guests didn't walk out. Envy walked, Envy out. walked out. Shut the fuck up. Nigga. Why? <laughs> So the boy, it was Jesus, it was the dudes Jesus and Mero. Um, that um, he got touched. <laughs> chill. Nigga, baby, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Maybe though, but it was the boys Jesus and Mero from um Vice Land. Um, they got the show that's real popular on the internet. So they, they like months ago they had said some shit on uh on there when he was on on the Love and Hip Hop um John, mm. and his wife was explaining about what happened when you know him cheating and shit. And he was just like on some shit. He was talking to shit. And then the boy Jesus was like, yeah, but she know them DJ MV checks though. And Whoa. I mean, that's like a... Whew. And so Envy, Envy waited till they got on the john and told him just on some shit like, you, you owe my wife an apology. So the niggas, they was going back and forth a little bit, but the niggas apologized. But then they went right back to the interview. And like Envy was just getting a little hot, you could see, and they had the video of him just like, and he just got up and walked clean out, like it was crazy. Mm. Yeah. Let it burn, Usher. Let it burn. <laughs> like, Listen, what that nigga got so hot, he walked off the fucking. He left his like own this. shit. I. No. When you go ahead, I'm sorry. Mm. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. That's like me getting you so upset that you can't even. He take walked it right off right. of that shit. <laughs> nigga, you, you might as well forget it. You no longer own the shit. I I'm. Do. That's my. Oh, yes, your seat. That's your seat. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that like, ass. Like, damn. Right. I couldn't, I, I wouldn't think that he, mm, mm. Yeah, he a little sweet, though. Mm, little tender dick. Exactly. Yeah, he, he a little tender dick yeah, about his check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't get the check. He had to be a little bit tender dick on yeah, him, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. 
Yo, you wanna go ahead and kill us, man? Oh man, Jenny, it's just me. Oh yeah, man. Jesus. At Jenny, man. Listen, right at Jenny with these rapid questions. These rapid questions. We don't need no explanation. Okay. It's just just, just answer like, it. Okay. Just answer it. You don't gotta go I'm deep ready. into it. It's just yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we get a shot? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. A half a shot. Yeah. A little bit. You can't handle this shit. So mm. No, but go ahead. All right. <laughs> All right. First one. What's your best hustle? My best hustle is getting money. I mean, by any means necessary. That's my best hustle. So I don't have a particular hustle. But can you still make it clap? Hmm. Right there, right there. Yes. <laughs> now this is a question for the for the head connoisseurs. Uh, if you ain't crying, are you still doing it right? No. No. <laughs> that gotta bring you to tears, honey. Oh, no explanation. Sorry. Let me ask. You ever see? Did you see the joint? The stripper that swallowed the balloon? No, I didn't. You, you can you do that? I don't even know. Yeah. Swallowed it. She just. It was a whole. Wobbled. It was a long joint though. But no, I have never tried. You never I, tried. All I don't right. like static in my throat. <laughs> <All right, cool. laughs> Who the best MUA out here? Um, me, shit. Not shitting on nobody else, but you're always supposed to think you're the best. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Favorite R&B artist? Mm, mm, mm. I love uh, Donnell Jones. Everybody love Donnell. You fucking love that stupid... I mean, it's not it's dope, it's dope, it's dope yeah. as fuck. It's dope as fuck. Let me... No, 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 I'm drawing. Wait, all okay. I love is R&B. I don't even listen to that rap shit, so don't ask me. R&B is fire. Of course. Oh, that's all. That's Slow fire. jams, Mary J. Blige. Like, real old school type of shit. Mary went through some shit. Like, some soul food. You yeah. gotta touch me. I gotta be able to understand what you're speaking about. Man, fuck you. In, or, in order for me to like you and love you. Did you get it out the mud? What? Did you get it out the mud? Yeah, I get out the mud. Yeah. I was created in the mud. Jesus. Yeah. Matter of fact, I am mud. Water <laughs> and dirt made me. How important is loyalty to you? Everything. Everything. Without loyalty, there's no... You can't build nothing with nobody. All right. Did you make it out the mud yet? I'm, I'm trailing through it. Yeah. I'm, try, I'm trying to do it. I'm, I'm starting to reach dry land. Starting to reach dry land and grass. Oh, nigga. Yeah, I'm getting hey. it. Yeah, I'm getting you there. It. Yeah, that's I'm what I'm it. talking about. I'm getting it. That's going. You're going to lead it right into the. That's what the topic. You was asking what the topic was. <laughs> you was asking about the topic, and we, we brought you right into it. Woo! You just walked right into it. And, bro, go ahead and walk her in. Bring her in. Define out the mud. Well, I'm not completely out of it, but defining out the mud is just, you know. You ever um, notice that when mud leaves all prints? Mm -hmm. right. I can see my print way, way, way down there. Okay. Because it's starting to harden. It's starting to become um, soil for beautiful grass. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm definitely trilling out of it. And um, it's never a day I don't forget where I was at. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you have any like obstacle stories that you can share? Well, what's your, what's, what's, oh, what's, 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 we would just want to know, not, we don't got to go all the way into uh. it, but give us your story, uh, cause we just, you know, people need to hear that, that coming out the mud story, making it out, so, um, you know, I go so deep into it, but like give us said, a lot. My story comes from a, a very, very, very young age, cause I grew, you know, I didn't grow up with nothing. Right. We kind of grew up poor, you know, welfare, food stamps, you know, all things that. like that, um. But my mom always made a way as far as, like, working, keeping the household and food in our, you know what I mean? But as far as coming out the mud or trailing out the mud, um, I had to figure out. I had to figure figure it out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had to figure out what was good for me. And um, I was always in tune with myself. I really didn't hang with too many people. I really wasn't influenced by a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And I try to keep my daughter like that, too, where you just keep those certain friends mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because... Mm -hmm. Your friend can have the greatest influence on you, but it can turn out bad. Um, so, you know, I, I always realize that the less people you have around you in your head, the more in control of who you are, because the only person you see or speak to on a day-to-day -day basis is yourself. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> that's how I feel um, without me and my inner voice and not having nobody around. Um, that's how I was able to learn me. And yeah. find me within okay. that. No matter, I done yeah. this all. Like I don't care. Like I'm, I don't. 
I done did it all. I mean, trapped, hustled. I did it all. Like, yeah. bitch was okay. in the streets. Like, <laughs> y'all you know see I mean? the fucking, Honey, y'all see that right you know there. That thing turned up, nigga. Damn, you know what I mean? 15 years old, had a little Buick, you know what I'm saying, bro? I ain't had licensing, you know what I'm saying? But, um, and I still worked a full time, you know what I mean? A part time job and went to high school full time. Nigga. But I always. I didn't hang with people too much. Mm-hmm. I never hung with people too much, but everybody knew who I was. It, is that weird? Nah, oh, no. you just fucking ring bells. Like, like I just, just kind of just floated yeah, and yeah. just made my way. And they always be like, yo, that little young girl, like, she, she about her she cash. About her she shit. about yeah. doing about shit. shit. I mean, from when I was like seven years old, staying with, you know, my mom had went back to New York and shit. We lived out the project out, out the South. Yeah. And I used to stay at my neighbor's house. And used to go to food school. And she's like, yo, you really put took the iron out. You know what I mean? Press, you know what I mean? Press whatever little stuff I did have. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, and, and recycle the stuff I'm I did be, have. I'm going to be presentable. Well, I'm going to be fresh. Yeah, it you know don't fucking I'm matter, gonna nigga. Fresh. <laughs> like, I'm going to come from somewhere. So, um, yo. I just think from having nothing just created me to always want to be something. Nigga. And not giving that. You know what I mean? Yo, that's crazy. Uh. That's, when, I, yo, when, I first, when I first met you... When I first met Jimmy, bro, that's what, she, that's what she had the big body join, bro. Oh, God. And I knew it already. I said, yo, she she get it, my man. I said, she, it's whatever. She get whatever, my it's man. She just whatever she wants. Like, yeah, and I'm going to do what I want to do. And she do what the fuck she want to do, that's, my man. That's fucking life. That's the dream, man. Like, Hell yeah. I'm going to tell keep you living the, the biggest uh, credit that a lot of people don't give me or ooh. haven't given me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Was because they don't know my mud trail. They don't. They don't see it. They don't follow. Only people that have yeah. been around know. So a lot of people think like, oh, she pretty nigga that's doing this. Nigga that's buying her. Nigga bought her that BMW. No, not a motherfucker I ever paid my motherfucking rent. I ain't never had to fuck for no money. I'm never gonna fuck for money. You understand what I'm saying? But I will do what it takes to make sure that I can get this money and. And take care of whatever I want to do in my life. Nobody sponsored me. I sponsored myself. So, as far as, you know, everybody went off of what I look like. Oh, she's pretty. She's bad. She dry this. She dressed like that. Ain't nobody do none of that shit. Nobody. Nobody. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. Nobody. Yeah. But I love that they think. Yeah. That somebody did it for me. That's, and then when I yeah. tell them, no, no, humbling. I created yeah. this because... If I allow somebody to create me, what happens when they disappear? You ain't shit. I, will no I don't know who I person. am. <laughs> I don't know who the I, don't, fuck I, I am. will no longer be that person. Yeah. So I, I've always, like, even in any type of dealings that I had with any type of nigga, like, I ain't want shit from you. I don't give a fuck. I got my own bread. Like, what you bring? You know what I'm saying? Like, right. oh, you want to go out there? Oh, you ain't got nothing. No, no problem. Let's go. Let's go let's, out let's, there. Yeah, yeah, let's go out yeah. there. Let's go do this. Let's I'll go do that. Um, yeah. But a lot of people, a lot of women, don't do that. A lot of women be like, oh, I ain't fuck with that nigga. That nigga ain't got this. That nigga. Nah, it's all about right here. You know what I'm saying? So mm. that that's my uh, that's my biggest pet peeve when it comes to people judging on the outside. Like, you don't know where the fuck I came from. You don't know mm. my trials and tribulations. Yeah, you seen me in school. Always been fly. You know, a little model for a little hair. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? High school or whatever. But... Ain't nobody pop them tags but me. Ain't nobody cash that check but me. Ain't nobody buy me that first car but me. I had a car every fucking year. You know what I'm saying? Nobody did none of that shit. Not no parents, not no man. Not, these streets did it. Yeah. These streets that... that they, they, and, and they, also that, you know what I mean? That yeah. that, that after school money. But they, even after that after school money, I had that sidetrack money. Right. You know what I'm saying? I had the old... Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? That type no, 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 of shit no, no, type of money. Don't, don't kill them like that. No, but I'm just saying, on some real shit, yeah. if you want to get real, like, right. I just did it all. Like, right. and I ain't never stopped doing well, it all. These streets, now. these streets got your name well, yeah. all over. Well, <laughs> Up and down, no, across. But let me say, really I, got, I got every different occupation that the streets can have. I done held all different That's occupations. That's what she just said. If she had one, <laughs> suck my <laughs> dick. That's what she just you said. Mean, suck my dick. For anybody else think I could do this. Nah, it's just, I really didn't, I never knew it's not. I don't even believe that I have pride issues. I just believe as though like, I um, I didn't never have nobody to go to to ask for anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you had to grow up fast. And then I That's never fun. wanted to be able to get it from somebody and them not be able to hold that down. You know what I'm saying? Like constantly giving, constantly giving or yeah. spoiled, and mm. then what happens? 
when when that's no longer around. Who mm-hmm. am I? How can I continue to be the same person without what somebody else did for me? Right. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? That's a whole facade. Somebody built me. No, 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 no. I built myself. Mm-hmm. I fucking threaded my own claw. Jesus. Okay? <laughs> listen, home. man. That's yeah. a whole different type of motherfucker <laughs> you dealing time. with. That means yeah. I could come from anything. You put me in a fucking hole again if you want to. I'm gonna right. find a way out because I know the way out. <laughs> right. <because> I mean, <laughs> I, sorry. She never, she never oh. made the way out. I didn't know. We didn't get that on camera though. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. I, I mean, think so. Yeah, we're good. I need no, to get some. No, you're not good, Jenny. You just the, the whole... No, I did it. I got <laughs> excited. Good. Yeah. <laughs> you good, but um. But yeah, topic of conversation. Yeah. Topic that's... of conversation. You made you uh you did what you had to do. You know what I'm saying? So like. I don't believe I had a choice. You had a choice, and that's dope. You know what I mean, like I said, when, when I first met you, I thought that shit was Hell dope as fuck. So yeah, look at you. You still hustling. You still working for yourself. Just, I'm just in a different lane. That's it. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Thanks, mom. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, mommy. Take you know, mommy. Um, um we're going to just uh, move on to the next question. Which is basically still talking about the same. That is that. What was actually the topic? I'm sorry, I didn't even really introduce that because I was so hyped to hear your story. Because I know you was. That's how you was gonna give it to us. I can't wait to write a book. I can't. Yeah, I need to. You really need to. So keep keep giving it to us more. We gonna talk about um how you made it up, like how to make it out the hood, like the help, the help, the help, the youth. Say you probably been telling this story. More how to make a, it out the hood? Not nah, how, just, just, just. I'm kind of still in the hood. Yeah, you know but no. I'm not. No, you're not, bro. Right. It's just, it's out here. It's out here. Because yeah, 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 yeah. you, because you, all the way. I think you just need to listen to your inner self. Like, um, see what's out there. <laughs> see what people. First of all, uh, I think my greatest perspective on the learning ability is to watch how other people move and see mm. what their movement had done for them so far. Mm. If it hasn't done anything, why the fuck would I want to hang with you? Dog. Not hang with you, but why would I want to conspire with you? Yeah. You understand? Know Dude, get your money and drink a lot. <laughs> you drunk ass. You better wash them hands. Yeah. You spicy ass. You moving everywhere. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> I think just learn yourself. Take the time to learn what you want to do, regardless of whatever, what. Regardless of what everybody else is doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I didn't hang with too many people. I didn't have too many influences. I always... I've been working since I was 14. And I've been working before 14. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Whether it was around the house, cleaning chores, things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so I've always had... I've always was doing something. It's never not been one time that I have not done something. Um, I don't even know how to feel to kind of just, just go to school and not... And just enjoy your uh, childhood. Yeah. I don't know you what don't that know feels. What that I don't feels know what like. that feels like. And That's of course, I'm up. making it different so my daughter doesn't have to do that. But she definitely knows the difference between hard work. Like I don't play no games. That's dope, you feel what yo. I'm saying? That's dope. Like you don't get nothing without doing something. Word. Um, no matter how much I got or what I got. Yeah. You gonna have yeah. to do something. Clean the dishes. Clean the kitchen. Getting that raised the right way. You gotta earn yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um. So, yeah, just basically just stay into myself. Learn yourself. Like, know yourself and mm-hmm. know what you like. As long as you know who you are, nobody can Yeah, you can't, never, you can't never take you can't. anybody, anything from anybody mm-hmm. that knows themselves. But a lot, of like, you, a lot of you can be weakening, weakened. Yeah. Oh, because, this age. Yeah, yeah this day and age. Social saying? media. It's so many different influences. So beating many, you up, taking you apart. Yeah. And, she giving it to you. Yeah. She giving it to you. Like, like it's, just, right now. it's yeah. so many different ways. And it just turn it was it, different turn for the us. phones off. Yeah. And, and, um, it's that easy, I don't though. even read, but... um, read Music book. was my, my greatest inspiration. Let's just say that. Music... With my greatest inspiration. But they don't and got music what, no more. No. Them niggas, these niggas don't no, got no that, music. You gotta go back to the 90s. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? The early 2000s maybe. But the 90s, 90s is all bro. I used to do. I, they, y'all come see me and it's nothing but R&B. Some smooth old Mary J, shit. bro. Like just some real smooth. Share even my world. 80s shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got all the CDs. You know what I'm saying? No, every motherfucker. Mary one, album, like, my nigga. I'm Mary. Because uh, my mom listened to this shit. And no. I knew it was time to clean. Real shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That Mary, come on. You ain't on. going nowhere left the house It clean. starts That's smelling nice shit. in the crib. <laughs> I know the feeling. Like, if she put that Mary J on, I'm going down. Mom, what the fuck happened to you? What, what happened? It's going what my down. dad do? It's going down. <laughs> you better get that broom and that motherfucking mop. It's going down Nigga. today. Straight up. <laughs> so I always, um, like I said, I always have uh, a lot of responsibility right. at a very... 
very, very young age. What age do you think is, is you should start that at with your, with your children? What? Since they started walking. What you talking about? Fuck. Don't right. lie. Yeah. You crazy? Oh, my gosh, yo. I, I, I always say that, yo, because it's like. You got it embedded in them. You got it embedded in the responsibility. They're already responsibility. born with it, but you got it embedded in yeah, them. Yeah, you got to make yeah. sure they sleep in that. They know what it means. Thank they you. get it. Like, they get it. Well, you've you been gotta... dropping Jews all show, but you just definitely dropped a, a nice little <laughs> Jew right there, bro. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? He really liked that I one. I did like that, that one, one, bro. Yeah, yeah because I, I, I'm, I mean, that's how I am. You know what I mean, with the youngins. You have to be. That's why I'm like him, but how else are you gonna prepare them to be something more than what you are? Right, Jesus. Right, right. gotta make them a better version of gotta yourself, make them a the best version. version. Bro. Hell yeah, that's dope. Um, yo, you did a fucking amazing job with the topic today. Yo, um, yo, yeah, yo, I can't wait till they uh, get, get knock the good. fuck out Ooh, the park, my dude. Exciting. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, entertainment at its best. Yeah, we are gonna give you a little bit more entertainment. We are gonna uh, hit it with some true and false questions. Mm. Um, you wanna go ahead and lead it off? Some yes, time? absolutely. First question. You would have to be the one. I'm the guy. The Pisces. Cause I'm the Pisces, the Pisces and I'm here, and it's my birthday tomorrow. Woo! Happy birthday! Hey. Oh. No, I'm gonna sing happy birthday for you before we go. All right. <laughs> Drop but, a little old vocal. You know what I mean? Jesus. Give us something. Ooh. Get All right, piece, I'm got to go. <laughs> um, first question, true or false? Mm. You can't turn a hoe into a housewife. I don't know. I ain't never been no hoe. I just did some hoe ass shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't no hoe though. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's owning it. That's something you can't call me nothing because I own this. You right. Can't. <laughs> I, I, I don't ever see myself as being a hoe because I didn't fuck for anything I got. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Have I danced and and and. My, made a way, yeah. I was going to school full time. I was working full time, and my bills was over the top. Yeah, so, you know, whole shit. That's some hustler shit. You know, right? Oh, so, you know, every so type of way. I don't know. I believe every hoe is a hoe for a reason because maybe the attention wasn't there. Like, if you you can't, you got to understand from a hoe's point of view. I'm not a hoe's point of view, but I want to take it from a hoe's point of view. Please well, try to come. I want to clarify some of the there. things. I'm the type of person. Um, if I'm fucking with you, fucking you. And you lie to me one time, I'm done with you. Period. Because loyalty stems from that. Like, if I can't trust you with one look, you lie about the littlest fucking thing, I'm not fucking with you. I don't even want you in my life. I'm good. Oh and I'm going to be all the way off you. But because of that experience with you doesn't mean I'm going to stop experiencing life uh-huh. and finding love. Yeah. So I think that's what a lot of people confuse whole shit with. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Is oh she a hoe? She had this nigga, that nigga. No, sometimes I a nigga just, just ain't right. Why the fuck she gotta stay with a nigga that just ain't the fuck right? Why? Or why why I, she gotta be a hoe? A double standard. I just feel like, right. Why <laughs> she gotta That's be a hoe? That's a double standard because it's like it's same. Now if you out here sucking Tom, Dick, and Harry, multiple you you a hoe? You a hoe? Right? You a whole hoe? Right? You if you, right, if Harry, you fucking multiple thing. different men that's at true. one time, that's different. I've never done that in my life. I fuck one nigga. And after, and that's who I'm fucking at that moment because that nigga give me something, but I know where the fuck I'm going. You know what I'm saying? But I fuck one nigga at a time. So if I feel like, you know, me and that person's mm-hmm. vibe ain't working no more, I'm going to move forward. And if I meet the next person that I like no, and I want to do it, then I'm going to do it again. I don't if I don't like <laughs> but I don't even, I don't think I have never done because I never really had enough time to more. To have more than one you sexual know, partner, because I just need to go in, wham, bam, and I got to go to work and go to school or whatever I got to do. You know what I mean? You know so, the difference between us and y'all with that kind of shit mm-hmm. is that we fucking own the shit and we don't care. We no, oh, we wear it like a badge of honor. You just don't want to share it. it. And y'all let it, y'all let y'all y'all let it get to y'all emotions and let people call y'all hoes. You call me a hoe. I'm I'm gonna feel a little bit of a way about it because I'm like, nah, I ain't no hoe. But I'm gonna be like. All right, I'll they be, fuck- I'll be fucking. I'll be fucking. This dick get, get this dick get put to use. Yeah, that's true too. It's only <laughs> it's, it's used for a purpose. Yeah, There's no, no reason that. for that. That's his birthday request. No, 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 no. Fuck that, stuff. <laughs> no, no, fuck that real quick. Because it, it, it's like you a hoe because you go from girl to girl to girl to girl. But it's like my nigga, if you're not with one person, or you know what I mean, one person not meant from you, why can't you just move on to the next person? So does that make you a hoe? Because no, I believe having multiple partners at the same time is considered a hoe. Okay, thank you. Because how the hell can you figure out if one person is right for you if your attention span is but this big? Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So if you're just fucking niggas out here, then yeah, you're a fucking hoe. But if you're fucking this person and then that person doesn't suit you, 
then you know that you gave that person 100% of your attention during that time. But it wasn't right. But if you got your attention on four or five different niggas, right. then you're, none of them niggas will never be for you. For the simple fact you didn't have enough attention for yourself to pay attention to what you really needed. What's up, that, that's... You know. No, it, it makes perfect uh, sense. I no, mean, it makes perfect sense. Be, no, but a whole, but a whole I mean, out here getting money. It's going. They winning. First of all, they winning. But it doesn't. <laughs> it's, it's, See, that's, it's, they're not considered hustlers though. They're not because they because I they mean, get it easy. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I, I, okay. I, I probably could have made like a billion dollars if I wanted to. If you want the hoe. If I wanted to be a hoe. If ho. you wanted to be a hoe, hoe. Yeah, right, nah. I could have been taken care of by now or something. Rich, of course, that happens to all of them. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, damn, yeah. I be envious on low. Like, I should have been a hoe. You uh, know what I'm saying? I just did some hoe shit. You know what I'm nah, saying? Like, I don't you know. think nobody. <laughs> I don't know if anybody wants to be I a hoe. I just danced and all. No, not not want to be a hoe. No, no. No, I'm talking about a chick that, like she just said. But then a lot of people come from broken relationships. Jenny. <laughs> Jenny. Oh, God. Next true or false question. Oh, shit. I've been answering questions without saying true or false. Okay. No, no. no you just oh, answer okay. them. It doesn't okay, matter. Okay. It don't okay. matter. Like, we know where you're going. You got to be cut from a different cloth to get it out the mud. True or false. True or false. I don't know, because there's a lot of fake motherfuckers coming out the mud, so I don't... True. No, but in order to stay out the mud, you have to be cut from a different cloth. Mm. True. 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 <laughs> true. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah, to stay out. To stay yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. All right. True or false? There's no more real riders out here. That's false. Hmm. Totally That's false. It's false, Dead because false. Um, being a rider is being mentally sustained... Into believing a person, it depends who you're writing for. Okay. That's you know what I mean. That's you know what I mean. You got to be mentally right for that shit. Mm -hmm. I'm a rider. Always been. All right, all right. Yeah. I'm a rider. Always been. Okay. Like you gotta, yeah, yeah. A, I yeah. just ain't taking no bullshit though. But that's why, that's why loyalty meant so yeah, much. Yeah, I ride for everything. Yeah. Her shit ties in together. Yeah, yeah. everything. <laughs> and that's so how you know that motherfucker yeah. telling the truth. Right. Is yeah. when the shit tied her together. Because motherfuckers together. will say one thing, right. but if you really listen to them, they'll say something different. They'll contradict the fuck out themselves. Hell yeah. yeah. In ten minutes of them talking, you let them go, <laughs> and that's when you that. figure them out. I'm like, oh nah, nigga. Yeah, you I just, know you. You just saying, you just saying shit will make sense for the moment. For the, exactly, right. that's a different You're type of person. To you, yeah. Though. All right. Um, women get mad and do the stupidest shit. True or false? When y'all get mad, mad, y'all do dumb shit. True or false? When it pertains to what? Say what I want you to say. <laughs> so, when it pertains to, especially a relationship. All right, let's this put it like, we talk, right, let's, talking let's to two men like here. Um, Y'all do the dumbest shit ever. Two men talking to two men. Tell me, tell us. Mm, I can't. I seen bitches do the dumbest shit. I have never been one of those women. Um, only you don't bitches. look like you give a fuck about shit. Cause you've been through so, cause you've been, she just told. See, this is the story ties into each other because I've been through so much. I don't right. fucking care about what you're doing. I right, can yeah. I can do anything in the world. Right, right that's how I feel. Like suck my dick. Right, um, I don't get mad. Like yeah. I, 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 all right, I, nigga. I, get, I don't get mad. I get disappointed, and Watch disappointment lasts longer than getting mad. Right, right. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, but I don't you. act out on that. I just kind of just step back and let yeah, it fall right. into whatever fall. But I have She's seen some dumbass women um, <laughs> cut tires, break windows. Bruh. And you know what? Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. <laughs> um, I had niggas that act like women. That bust my windows out, cut no, my tires. No! No! So, no yeah! Man, like, no, like, dude, too good. like, no, no right, like, throwing milkshakes and shit. No! Like, oh, like, 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 my like, fucking chain <laughs> just working a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck that <laughs> nigga. Fuck this shit so, up. <laughs> I think the uh the biggest oh, discrepancy that I have. A nigga do a milkshake at you. <laughs> Not at me. At, at your my car. front door. Oh, my goodness so gracious. when I came out in the morning, work, it was like milkshake everywhere. Nigga, you bought and a. It was summertime, so all the bees was. First of all, you bought a milkshake in the morning, so you was already a little zesty to begin with, Bro. and then you threw it at her door. <laughs> Why was you that mad? What made you? What? I don't want to know. <laughs> What? A lot of people 
from what I, a lot of people in my dealing, they always be like, yo, you too much like a nigga. Like, you right. just handle yourself like different. I'm not and even that sure. bothers them. Yeah. And it bothers them, they, they can't stay because ain't they can't handle the strength. They ain't can't nothing, you ain't nothing to do to her, my nigga. Go ahead, babe, live. Turn yeah. up. Give right. me some you know, pussy, though. But just, right. the, the, the yeah. street, like I said, the streets <laughs> raised me and men were in the streets. So, yeah. um, I watch and I learn from how they handle certain situations and a lot of shit don't bother men. Um, even when it kind of women, you, you know, know what I'm saying? But then yeah, it all depends. You gotta be that special. You a female woman. lion. That's what you is. You a lioness. <laughs> you a lioness. I don't know. I'm a Sagittarius, so I'm the the arrow with the bucket. On top the, of that horse. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Half man, half beast. I'll pay no attention. I know, but he's in the heat. I know. <laughs> but the people that do understand, you know? But, All right. Um, yeah. Let me ask yeah, you this. I True or false? I don't know dumb shit. True or false? If he keeps his phone face down, he got something to hide. No. False. I'm you a nigga, though, because you probably keep your phone like that, too. Nah, I just... Your phone even out right now. You told me to put it away because it was ringing. <laughs> She was getting busy, yeah. my dude. <laughs> Motherfucking MUAs um, out here. All of that. Um, you know what? I never had to go through a man's phone ever in my life. Because if I felt like I couldn't trust them, then why am I even with them? You had a different fucking level of being, <laughs> though, as a person what, from what you went through. Learn something. They different. Learn something, please. They, they think that people like her, they Learn life something. is just different than them. You haven't seen nothing they went through. So it's like nothing... I don't care about what you trying to keep from me type shit. Like, yeah, once I feel your loyalty to you not with me, then that's I need, I need I'm to, gone. I need to dispatch myself. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to just walk away without having way. a conversation, but I'm not going to look for it. Either. I don't like where you at right because, now. <laughs> right. I, I, I'm not going to look for it because I feel like when you look for it, you're only setting your, yourself to be hurt. And I've been hurt enough, so I don't want to even yeah. face that. Face that music. So if it comes above and it showcases itself, then at that point in time, I have the decision to make my move. But honestly, what can fucking hurt you at this point? Um, you don't gotta give it up because nobody wants to know that. Nobody wants to give um, up their weakness. But <laughs> for, the, for the people that I genuinely care for and, and love and want to see win all the time, uh, to take me for granted. That's, that's different. That that's hurts. a whole different type of yeah, hurt, Yeah, that's the too. only thing that hurts me. Because that's years of doing that. Yeah, that's just, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I, I have some people that I genuinely love, you know what I mean? Like family and stuff like that, that just, they come to me for everything and they kind of burn their bridge over and over and they know the type of love I have for them. And they, so that's the only thing that could hurt me is that my love can be used as a weakness. So it's like, it's like if you can't do something for you, for them, they hold it against you. Like, oh my it on God, it's like, ha- like the whole... The whole world tumbles oh right my on my God. shoulders you can't because do I already have. Yeah. Right, and I'd be like, "Well, where were you at when I just needed a ride or or needed a babysitter?" But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just shit like yeah. that. Like yeah. I feel like yeah. some people can be very, very ungrateful when you have given them so much, but that could be on my fault too because I spoil people. I spoil the people that I love. Gotta, if I can do it, I'm doing it. You gotta draw the you line somewhere. Said? Where's your line at? You got to make and, one. And that's where I'm getting to at in life right now. And they don't like you gonna, for it. Oh, no. They can hate me all they want at yeah, this moment. They not going because to. Because you didn't... Yeah. yeah you, you're going to turn me into a person that I don't want to be. So, I'm going to stop you before I become that yes. hateful person. Because, yeah. you know, they say hurt people hurt... I mean, they hurt say people, hurt, hurt people, hurt people, hurt people, hurt people. Hurt. Yeah. What are you talking about? Ahead, no, no, ahead. no. Because how can a hurt person hurt somebody else? How, how can a person that's hurt want to even make another person feel that same way? No, that's a person that has Miserable. never been really hurt. That's just hurting people. Because if a person has been hurt, so you don't they don't think... want that, and they don't want that pain on anybody. So you that's don't my... think a person that's really, really hurt. Can't hurt could you. hurt someone else no, at that moment. Because why would you want anybody? They're else not that hurt, right? Why yeah. would you want anybody to feel how you felt? So you think why? there's levels to hurt? It's though, definitely the... levels All to right. hurt. It's definitely levels to hurt. Yeah, everything stings a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right. So there's poisonous like... snakes and there's snakes. There's different bites. <laughs> <laughs> different like it's, 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 yeah, yeah straight up. We used to be more miserable, like misery loves company type thing. Well, yeah, but but she's talking. She's alluding to something else, and like on a levels of misery. Like you know, what I mean, somebody that's fucking going through some shit will do something that might hurt somebody ten times worse than them. Like you know, you going, you had a bad day. You decide you want to just call 
somebody and ugly. Some shit. Yeah, right. and insult somebody on a fucking bus home. Like right. and make their day that went some right. shit. I believe that people that are that hurt people are just ugly inside. They're just yeah, they were made like that. Yeah. yeah, they were just made I know people like, like that. that. There's people like that. And there's a people lot of that them. are beautiful that mm-hmm. have been hurt in so many ways that have never even hurt a fly. You yeah, understand that's crazy. what I'm saying? That's crazy. So hurt people yeah. don't hurt people. Yeah. You choose to hurt people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I believe if you ever, like I said, if you ever been truly hurt by anything in life, you would never want to inflict that same amount of pain on anybody else. Hell no. That's nah. Nah, you will. You will want to keep them away from. Right. You can't. You will, You can't sense. help. Right. You will, you I mean, can't yeah. help for them bringing themselves into your shit. But yeah. it's like yo, like nigga, <laughs> I'm going through some shit right now. You might not want to be around me. <laughs> like right. And, and 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 that's people that. That's where misery loves company. I'm the type of person, I'm, if I'm some type of way, if I'm feeling some type of way, I'm down on my lot, I, I don't call anybody. I don't, right. because I'm trying to figure out my own issues. I don't want to push, it, and it might not even be negative, I just don't want to put that on anybody yeah, else, that's, that's, that yeah, pressure, really, that pain, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want them to feel what I'm going through. I want to talk about it when I'm out of it. Right. So it can, it can inspire. They see, like, just giving you the answers to the problem. Right. So let me figure these problems out by myself. <laughs> right. And I'm going to give you so, what I'm I come up with. I'm at the chalkboard right now, <laughs> racing shit. Like, fuck, I thought I had it. <laughs> right, right, right. Nigga, yo, straight up. I love, uh, this is probably going to be one of my favorite interviews. <laughs> Hands down, <laughs> man. Know, man I can't even lie. You said a lot of shit how I feel. Like, I spend a lot of time, you know, by myself. And I, I was just like, how He do, him. my nigga. I, I really mean, do. This is I how see this nigga when I see this nigga. Like, and this is my nigga. But that's the best thought process. That's yeah, where the I mean, creative I love comes. my you time. Be cre- Even though you're sitting there in the house, lights off, no TV, your mind can be your greatest entertainment. Oh, no TV. Your greatest up. feature in your life. <laughs> Without <laughs> anybody around, your mind can create she Anything you want God. in your life. She's right. in the mall. She's every, 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 <laughs> everything on the mall. I fucking love this shit. Good fucking shit, Great Jenny. Shit, Thank you. Thank this shit, Jenny. Yeah, that's, that's, that's I didn't we'll even know the topic of the conversation today. Shoot. Yeah, I didn't even know. Nobody knows. Nobody, nobody, nobody knows. ever knows. I don't nobody never. Knows. First of all, I don't ever prepare for anything because... It's I'm supposed to be wrong. Yeah. That's all we it's care real, about. Real, real I, was, shit. I was trying to get him to tell me what he was talking about. What you about to talk about? Yeah. Oh. You would not let me. <laughs> Let's wrap this up. You got some shout outs. You yeah. definitely got shit on. Let's let her take her shit. Shout yourself out. Shout okay. Yourself out. okay. I'm gonna talk shout your out. shit, please. <laughs> right now. Why are you going to talk shit? All I, of it. I talk truth. Let's do that. Ooh. <laughs> 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 um, I want to definitely give a shout out to Get Booked for the Look. I want to give a shout out to all my beautiful women, my diamond girls, my diamond women that oh have supported like me, don't do know me, that come to me, that see my work. Um, I want to give y'all a shout out because without you guys, m- my craft wouldn't be my art. My art wouldn't be my business. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I got Diamonds Cosmetic a lipstick on, Diamonds Cosmetic foundation, uh. primer, powder, lashes, eyebrows. Mm-hmm. And, of course, I have Diamonds Cosmetic uh. hair extension. I have my own brand on. And um, brand. I want to shout out every woman. Matter of fact, every person. We're not going to even stick, you know what I mean, put it to a woman's perspective. I want to shout out everybody. Yeah. That is creating a path for them. So yeah. all my makeup artists, all my hairstylists, all my webcasters, yeah. all my people that are trying to transition and make something better in their life for themselves, I shout you out. I, sh- I shout you guys out. <laughs> Keep it moving. Swear. Keep it moving. Swear. Happy hey. birthday. Hey, can we play happy go. birthday? Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, we gonna I got to oh, get yeah, some more, nigga. Yeah. Y'all fucking tripping. I told you I'm going to think happy. Happy birthday to my bro, Snub, man. Right. Happy birthday. Shout out grown to him. Grown shout out to the grown folk. Shout out to Snub. Shout out to the machine life. Shout out to fucking machine life. Yeah, yeah shout out. Keep fucking done. Get booked for the look. <laughs> grown folk my business, man. Bitch. We out of here. Let's get it popping. Siren 85 all day. All, all day. All day. Siren 85. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I got one more one more thing to include. I'm sorry. You might want to cut and clip this, whatever. But you didn't ask me where I got my name from. Where you get it? Talk your shit. Siren. Okay. They always, a lot of people ask me, why didn't you switch your name to Jenny M.U.A.? Um, where did your name come from? Siren 85 is, um, Siren represents women, um, represent mermaids from a, you know, back this in the day. This is fucking Siren mermaid that that's screeching men in. Or, you know, lure their uh, enemy or whatever the case may be and kind of crash them in and, and um, you know, ate their brains. 
Oh. Stuff like that. You know, you know what a fiber is? Yeah. yeah, look it up. You know what I'm saying? So, um Oh, so you was yeah. I draw a lot of people in only for them to crash and and, and, and see reality. Ooh. And, and and um get to kinda know me too. You know what I'm saying? Awesome. You you got your little Everything Nordic. I do is it, it has it, it means something. Her little Nordic mythology and shit. Right. That, Everything that I shit do means something. All right. Everything I do means I something. I fucking drink to that shit. <laughs> we gonna have to be here for a little bit. Sorry, eighty five. Yo, we out of here. This shit, though. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh we <laughs> bitch we came from the mud, that's where we came from. Bitch, we came from the mud, that's where we came from Bitch, we came from the mud Where them boys pop 30s, whole 30s Carry drugs where we came from